Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Kate from Mindful Nods. In today's tutorial, I will teach you all how to make an adorable little cat hat. This pattern is interchangeable to look like different fruit depending on what colors you use. You can find the written pattern on my Etsy. The link to the shop is in my description box. The materials you'll use are listed on the screen above. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to begin, you'll create a slip knot. So you'll fold the yarn onto itself like this. And then twist the yarn to create this little loop and come in through the back of that loop to grab the shorter strand and then pull through. And that creates a slip knot. So then you'll insert your hook and make that knot a little closer to the hook there. To begin, you will chain up four or you will create a magic ring. To chain, you'll go under the yarn and hook it. And that move is called a yarn over. So whenever you yarn over, you just go under and hook it. And then you'll pull through the loop on the hook. And that is a chain. You will do that three more times. So you'll go under the yarn and hook it, pull through the loop. You will slip stitch the first chain. To do that, you will insert your hook through the first chain there. Then you'll yarn over, so you'll go under the yarn and hook it. And then you'll pull through the chain and your loop on the hook. And that is a slip stitch. By doing that, you created a little circle or ring there. We will be working into the center of that ring. For this next row, you will chain up one, so you'll go under the yarn, hook it, and pull through. This chain one does not count as a stitch. In the center of the ring, you will insert ten half double crochets. Okay, so to do a half double crochet, you will yarn over, insert your hook through the center of the ring, yarn over again, pull through the center of the ring, and that leaves you with three loops on your hook. So then you'll yarn over again and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is a half double crochet. I will show you guys one more time. So you'll yarn over, going under the yarn and hooking it. Insert your hook through the center of the ring. Go under the yarn and hook it. Pull the yarn through the center of the ring leaving you with three loops on your hook. So then you'll yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that is a half double crochet. So you have already done two, you will do a total of 10. I will meet you guys back once you have a total of 10 half double crochets into the center of the ring. Once you have 10 half double crochets, what you will do is find the first half double crochet you created and you will slip stitch it. So what you'll do is you will insert your hook through the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch and your loop on the hook and that will close up the first round there. For the next round, you will half double crochet two into the same stitch. To do that, you will begin by chaining up one, and that does not count as a stitch. In that first stitch there, you will insert two half double crochets into the same stitch. So you'll yarn over, insert your hook through the stitch, Yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. And you'll do that one more time into that same stitch. You'll yarn over, insert your hook through the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on the hook. 
and you'll do that all the way around so in this next stitch you'll insert two half double crochets into the same one and you will do that all the way around and because you had 10 half double crochets in the first round for the second round you will have 20 half double crochets okay so I did that all the way around and you should have 20 stitches and to close up this round you're going to do the exact same thing as the previous round so you'll slip stitch the first half double crochet you created so you'll find that first stitch you'll insert your hook yarn over and pull through the stitch and your loop on the hook and that's how you close up the round there for the next round you will chain up one Again, that does not count as a stitch. For this round, you will half double crochet one and then create an increase. For this first stitch, you'll just insert one half double crochet into that first stitch. In the next stitch, you'll create an increase. To do that, you will insert two half double crochets into the same stitch. So that's one and two and then you will just repeat that all the way around in the next stitch you will insert one half double crochet and then in the next you'll create an increase so you'll insert two half doubles into the same stitch You will repeat that all the way around. Okay, so you should have 30 stitches all together, and then you will slip stitch the first stitch to close this round. For the next round, you will chain up one. This does not count as a stitch. For this round, you will insert one half double crochet into the next two stitches and then do an increase so for this first stitch you'll insert a half double crochet in the next you'll insert one half double crochet in the next stitch you'll insert two half double crochets into the same stitch And that is your repeat. So you will repeat that until you get to the end of this round. You will insert one half double crochet into the next two and then do an increase. So insert one half double crochet into the next, one half double crochet into the next, and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. You will repeat that around and I will meet you back. Okay, so I did that all the way around and you should have 40 stitches. Again, you will just slip stitch to close. For the next round, you will chain up one. This does not count as a stitch. For this round, you will insert one half double crochet into the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. Once you have three half double crochets, in the next stitch you will insert two into the same stitch. So it's kind of similar to the previous two rounds, only you're not going to go all the way around. What you'll do is repeat that sequence 
two more times, so three times altogether. So we repeat, so we did it once, we're going to repeat it two more times. So you'll insert one half double crochet into the next three stitches. And then in the next stitch, you'll create an increase by inserting two half double crochets into the same stitch. Okay, so you'll do that one more time. You should have 15 stitches right here. So next we will chain up 13. To chain, again, we'll just yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. That is a chain. So you'll do that 13 times. Once you have 13 chains, what you'll do is you will count eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in that ninth stitch there, you will insert a half double crochet. So you're skipping eight stitches. Okay, so now what you'll do is insert one half double crochet into the next 11 stitches. So you'll have 12 altogether. We already created one. So we'll do our second half double crochet. And then you'll just insert one half double crochet into each stitch until you have 12 stitches. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like. So now we just want to match this on the other side. So what we'll do is chain up 13 again. So once you have 13 chains, you are going to skip the last eight stitches and then you will find that first uh, stitch there and then you will slip stitch. So you'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch and your loop on the hook. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like. This is where their ears will be going. You should have 53 stitches all together and that's counting the half double crochets and the chains here. So you should have 53 all together. For this next round, you will chain up one. That does not count as a stitch. And for this round, you will just insert one half double crochet into each of the stitches. You will do that all the way around, inserting one half double crochet into each of the half double crochets and into each of the chains as well. This round is pretty repetitive, so I will do most of it off screen. But you'll just insert one half double crochet into each and then I will meet you back. You will also have the same stitch count as the previous round. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like. It's starting to form like a head shape, like a dome. And then for the next round, you're actually just going to repeat the uh, round you just did. So you will chain up one and then just insert one half double crochet into each of the stitches all the way around. Again, I will do this off camera since it is really repetitive. You will also have the same stitch count as the previous two rows. Okay, and I will meet you guys back once you have done this round. Okay, so now it's really starting to look like a hat. Now for the final row, you will chain up one, and then insert two half double crochets into each of the stitches. So you'll do an increase in each of the stitches. So that's one half double crochet, 
and then you'll insert another into the same stitch. By doing this, it's going to make this round kind of flare out and make it look more like a bucket hat or a sun hat. So you'll just insert uh, two half double crochets into each of the stitches. And since this is pretty repetitive, I will do this off camera. And then I will meet you guys back. For this round, you will have 106 stitches. Okay, so I did that all the way around. And just like all the other rows, we will slip stitch to close. So you'll find that first stitch and slip stitch. You will then tie off. To secure, you will yarn over and pull through your last loop and you'll pull it all the way through and then you'll pull it tightly. You'll take your yarn needle and sew in your loose end here. Okay, so to sew in your loose end, I like to do it on the inside here. So you're just going to weave it in and out through these stitches that are closest to it. And I kind of like to change the direction where I go in between these stitches here, just so that it doesn't come back out. Okay, so to add on the straps that go around their chin so that the hat will stay on, you will attach a new piece of yarn in the middle of this row right here. So I'm going to attach a new piece of yarn right there. And what I'll do is just double knot it. You'll pull this tail down under into the, um, the space there. You will insert your hook where you attach the new piece of yarn. You'll yarn over and pull through and to get a loop on the hook to get it started. And what you'll do is just chain up 30. Okay, so once you have 30 chains, what you'll do is just yarn over and pull through the last chain and pull tightly. You will then kind of pull this strand down under the hat here so that it stays at the bottom. And what you'll do is also sew in your strand here as well. And you'll do that with your yarn needle. So you'll do the exact same thing to this side. Okay, so now we're going to begin the stem portion. To do that, you will create a slip knot. Alright, so once you have your slip knot on your hook, you're going to make it smaller up on the hook there. To begin, you will chain up two. So you'll yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. What you'll do is create four single crochets into that first chain we created. To do that, you will insert your hook through that first chain. Then you will yarn over, so you'll go under the yarn and hook it. Pull through the chain. That leaves you with two loops on your hook. So then you'll yarn over again, pull through the two loops. You'll insert three more into that same stitch. So you'll insert your hook, yarn over, 
pull through the stitch, you have two loops on your hook, so then you'll yarn over again and pull through two loops. And that is your second single crochet. And what you'll do is kind of work around, it's going to slowly create a little circle. You'll do that two more times, so you'll insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. One more time, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. You'll kind of tug at this uh, little strand here to close it up. Okay, so now that you have four stitches into the center of the ring, we're going to work into a continuous spiral. So you're going to need a stitch marker. So what you'll do is you will count back four stitches to the first one you created. So one, two, three, four. So right there is the first stitch you created. So working into that stitch, you'll create one single crochet. Then you will take your stitch marker. Then you will take your stitch marker and you will mark that stitch. You will create one single crochet into the next three stitches. Then you're going to kind of turn it inside out, so kind of pop it inside like that. So for this round you're just inserting one single crochet into each of the stitches and because you started with four stitches, for this round you will have four single crochets as well. So let's see, so you have one, two, three, and then we need one more. So that's the fourth stitch there. And we're back at the one we stitch marked, so that's the first stitch of the new round. We just completed the second round, so now we're going to move on to the third round. We'll remove the stitch marker. In that stitch you'll create one single crochet, because it is the first stitch of the new round here. Then you'll mark it again. And this round is a repeat of the second round. You're just going to insert one single crochet into each of the stitches. So you're going to have a total of four stitches. And you can cut off your tail right now. You're not going to need it anymore if it's getting in your way. And I know it's kind of a tight small piece here but it, it will work itself out here in a second. Okay, so you're going to do one more row exactly like that. You're going to remove the stitch marker, create four stitches, make sure to mark your new stitch of the new round. So you'll take out your stitch marker, create that first new stitch of the round there, <clears throat> then you'll mark it again and finish out this round by inserting one single crochet into each of the stitches. Okay, so by doing that you have now created the stem and now we're going to start the leaf portion of it. For this next round you will insert two single crochets into each of the stitches. So we'll begin by removing that stitch marker. We're going to create our new first stitch of the new round. 
then we'll mark it. Okay. And like I said, we're inserting two single crochets into each of the stitches. We've already inserted one, so in that same stitch, we will insert another single crochet. In the next stitch, you will insert two single crochets into that stitch as well. So by doing this, we're going to increase our stitch count from four to eight. Okay, so by doing that, you can see that it flared out slightly. Okay, so for the next row, you will remove your stitch marker. You will slip stitch into that next stitch, so you'll insert your hook through that stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and your loop on the hook. You will mark that stitch with your stitch marker. You will double crochet two into the next stitch. To do that, you will yarn over, insert your hook through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, that leaves you with three loops on your hook. You will yarn over, pull through two of the loops only, so one and two, leaving you with two loops left on your hook. So then you'll yarn over one more time and pull through the two loops. And that is a double crochet. And I will show you guys one more time. You'll yarn over, insert your hook through the same stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, leaving you with three loops on your hook. You'll yarn over, pull through only the first two, leaving you with two left, two loops on your hook. So then you'll yarn over again and pull through the last two, and that is a double crochet. Next, we will chain up three, so you'll just yarn over and pull through the loop three times. And then we'll be working back along this edge here, so you'll count back to the first chain you created, and you will slip stitch. So you'll insert your hook through that chain, you'll yarn over, pull through the chain, and your loop on the hook. And then what we'll do is working into the same stitch we created those two double crochets, you're going to create two more. So again, you'll just yarn over, insert your hook through that same stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, there's three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. You'll insert one more into the same stitch, okay, and you can kind of see the leaf starting to form. In this next stitch here, we will slip stitch. So you'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and your loop on the hook. Okay, so then you'll just repeat that sequence that we just did two more times. So in this next stitch, we will slip stitch. You'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and your loop on the hook. In the next one there, you will insert two double crochets.
you will chain up three, slip stitch the first chain there, insert two more double crochets into the same stitch, and then slip stitch the next. And then you will do that one more time, so you'll slip stitch the next stitch, insert two into that stitch there, chain up three, slip stitch the first chain, insert two more double crochets into that same stitch, Okay, and now we're back at that one that we um, stitch marked, so we'll take that one out. And to end it, we will just slip stitch that stitch right there. And that is the top part of your hat. Okay, so to finish off, you'll just yarn over and pull through the loop and pull your strand all the way through and pull tightly. Leave a long enough tail so that you can sew this onto your hat. Okay, so now that your um, strands are on your hat there, the last thing to do is sew on your stem and leaf. You're going to sew it on right in the middle and it should um, kind of protrude out to about row three. And with your tail here, you'll just sew on with your yarn needle. So I'm just going to kind of roughly place that. And this doesn't need to be like perfect. So we're just going to insert it I'm just going to do like a simple stitch here by going in and out. Through the stitches there. Making sure to pin down the points. Making sure to hold it, you know, directly in the middle so it doesn't get out of place there. And yeah, you'll just do that all the way around the hat. Okay, so now that you have the top attached, your hat is complete and your cat is ready to wear it. Hope you enjoy the tutorial and I'll see you next time.